little weaker on the left? Yeah, I get shot in the hip a lot. You, you can't see those, but they're right there. Shots yeah. in the hip? No, shot. Shot That's in the hip. <laughs> as in bullets. Okay. A lot? <laughs> a lot. You got shot in the hip a lot. A lot. Really, <laughs> once is a lot in my book. That would be ample for me. Um, I've worked with <laughs> both above knee and below knee amputees before, um, but this is the first time that I've seen the sea leg. We can take some of the basic tenets that we use with all amputees, and then we can just build on that because this is a, a newer device and it's a smart leg, a smart knee, so it has a lot of control that we wouldn't normally see. So it's going to be fun. It'll be a fun trip. Oh. Tell me, are you doing any kind of um, home program for exercise? Do you normally exercise at home in any way? Yeah, I have a total gym. Okay, but tell me what uh, you do. Don't do much, a lot. Not, not much on the lower body though. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I think so. Yeah. Something with their pants. Okay. I think that's really interesting that he wants to jump out of a plane, so hey, let's get him jumping out of a plane, but what my, I see, hopefully, is that we can get him ambulatory, we can get him comfortable on the legs so that he can use him functionally, so that he can walk in and out of a restaurant, and he can, you know, go to an event with his family, he can walk around the house, and he can do those things mentally comfortably as if he were walking with legs so that he doesn't have to live um, from a wheelchair level any more than he wants to, so, and it looks like he has really great potential to do that.